My name is April Moore, and I am pleased to be your instructor for our BAS 284 class. I would like to show you around just so you'll have a basic idea of how I've set everything up for this course. When you first log into the course, you will see the announcements page. So that's the page that you see here. If you were in a different part of the course, you could just click the announcements link. All important announcements will be listed here, including the assignments that are due each week. So make sure you log on at least three times a week to review the announcement. The Pearson My Lab links will take you into specific areas within Pearson's website. So there's a course home link, another link to the e-text, a place which shows you all of your assignments, the results page, which is Pearson's gradebook, and there's a multimedia library, which has just a few optional videos that you can watch, and the integration support in case you have any problems at Pearson. So I will click on the all assignments, You'll need to click where it says continue in a new window. So all of the assignments are listed here. You can see them all. These are all links to the quizzes on the left-hand side. And you have two attempts for each quiz. So you can see here how many attempts you've had out of two. And the due dates are listed here on the left. So to go back, we will click, just close this window, and then you'll be back into Blackboard. Click the back arrow. The My Lab Management Course homepage will show you a calendar view of all the assignments that are coming up. And if you scroll down, you'll see some of the first assignments that are due and then in the very bottom section, completed assignments will show, obviously, the assignments that you have completed. So again, I'm going to close this page. And then I'm going to click the back button. And the results page is a listing of your grades within Pearson's site. So you can see right now I have not completed anything, but your grades will show in this area. So back in Blackboard, I'm going to go to the discussion board. For your first assignment, you will post a discussion board posting. And I have instructions here as well as in the assignment instructions document, but here is where you will post your first discussion board posting, which is worth 20 points. And these are the details for what you will do. And then there's a separate board for Pearson, for your Biz Cafe, for your last assignment. And then for Biz Cafe, I've separated it into the different weeks in case you have a question on a specific week's decisions. And the course email is where you will email me proof that you've purchased the Biz Cafe access code. And then throughout the semester, if there's something of a personal nature, then you will want to use the course email link. If there's a homework question, then you will use the discussion board. Then next is my grades. So all of your grades will be listed here. The Pearson grades should come in automatically. If they don't, you need to make sure that you let me know. Some of the items I am I have to hand grade. So any of the work you do at Pearson will be graded automatically and the grades should transfer in. But all of your other assignments, I have to grade by hand. So I will be grading them and then entering your grades in here. So over on the right-hand side, you will see a dash until you've submitted, and then after you've submitted, you will see your grade there. There's a link for Pearson help, 
and a link for Blackboard Help, which opens in a different tab. So going back in our course, let me go back into the schedule. So this is where all of the assignments and their due dates are listed here, along with the points available. This is not a self-paced course. You must submit your assignments by the due dates listed in the course schedule. So you'll see all of the assignments here, the points, and exactly what you will do to earn your points. Also, in the assignments link, I have a separate folder for every assignment. On the outside of the folder, which is what you see here, are the details of exactly what you will submit and the points that you can earn. So for the first assignment, it says to read everything, complete your discussion board posting, and to use the rubric, to register at Pearson by clicking the first quiz link, to complete the first quiz, which is worth 20 points, and email me confirmation of your purchase of Biz Cafe, the code. And then when you click on the link to the assignment, then you will see additional links where you will complete your homework. So I have a link to something called the assignment instructions. This has very detailed instructions on how to complete everything for this course. You can see here, I have a table of contents. And then these are all links that will take you directly to the place within this document with detailed information. So, and then I also have some of the points listed here that you will earn and a range of the due dates. So just carefully read through this, download it. You wanna save it, you can refer to it again when you have any questions. And it's very detailed, it shows you exactly how to complete every assignment along with a lot of screenshots to help you. So I'm going to minimize that. So again, within the first assignment folder, there's a link to the assignment instructions. The first assignment discussion posting, this will take you directly into the discussion board. A link to the first quiz at Pearson. So again, this is where when you click the first time, you will register at Pearson. You don't need a code. You will simply enter the information that's shown or requested of you. And then you can come back into Blackboard if you want to click on this link again, and it will take you directly into the first quiz at Pearson. And then here's information on how you will purchase the Biz Cafe code, and then email me confirmation that you have purchased that. So that's to make sure that everything is in place when we get ready to complete the, the Biz Cafe simulation. So I'm going to click on first quiz link. And then it says, are you ready to start? You will click start test. And it says attempts zero of two. So you do have two attempts for every assignment. So I'm just going to close that and then go back into our Blackboard course. For the first 10 chapters of your concepts text, you will read that chapter in the e-text watch the PowerPoint, and then complete a quiz worth 60 points. So that's how all of the chapters for the, the concepts text work. So for chapter one, I went ahead and put another link to the assignment instructions, but here's a link to the e-text at Pearson, a link to the PowerPoint, and a link to the quiz. So all of the first 10 chapters of your text are gonna be set up just like this. So let me click the e-text link. So this takes you into the Pearson e-text and I'll just give you a quick overview. If you wanna search for something, you would click here. You can add a bookmark. You can change the display settings, how large or small the font size is. And then over here, 
If you click here, you will see the table of contents and you can scroll down here. So here's chapter one. So you'll click there and then this is where you'll start reading and you'll just click the arrows to the right to continue reading the text. So I'm gonna go back into the chapter one assignment folder. If you click on the outside of each folder, you will see the pages that you need to read. The page numbers are also listed in the schedule. So for chapter one, you're gonna read pages 44 to 67, watch the PowerPoint, and then take your chapter quiz. Clicking on the assignments folder again. If you scroll down, after you finish the first 10 chapters, then you will start the Biz Cafe. So the last portion of the class will be this simulated business that you will run. And again, you can see the points for each particular item. The interpretive solutions who own or develop Biz Cafe, they will send you log on information. So you will register at Biz Cafe. This is a link to Biz Cafe, and again, another link to the assignment instructions. So within Biz Cafe, there are different things that you'll do. Some assignments you will complete and upload into the Blackboard assignment area. And then the parts of the simulation you will complete just at Biz Cafe. And then at the end, you will be graded on, here's information, grading information for Biz Cafe, 100 points total, 25% or 25 points is on your cumulative revenue, 25 points is on the customer satisfaction, 25 points on the cumulative net income, and 25 points on the cups sold. So you'll read all the information at the Biz Cafe site and in my assignment instructions. And all of this will help you know what you're doing. There are also some practice that you'll be doing. So you'll have time to complete two practice rounds. So you'll be familiar with how everything works before you actually start the graded simulation. Now there are, as I mentioned, a couple of assignments within the Biz Cafe simulation where you will complete an assignment and upload your work at within Blackboard. So here's one, Biz Cafe case discussion worth 50 points. So I have a PDF file here that you will read. And then when you click this link, it will take you into the area within Blackboard where you will actually submit your work. So you can type a description of what you're sending me. You will browse your computer to upload your file. And always review these rubrics that I've created for you. They tell you exactly how you will be graded for this assignment. So startup question, fixed cost, Etc. So just always review anytime I have a rubric for you, that's exactly how you'll be graded. So you'll know in advance how you will earn your points for that assignment. So here's another link to the PDF file. You will actually enter your answers in the PDF file, save it to your computer, and then upload your file and click submit. And then I'll know that you've submitted it and I will grade that and then your grade will be seen in your My Grades here. So everything is very detailed. Make sure you read everything very carefully, especially the assignment instructions. But if you have any questions, just make sure that you post them in the discussion board. And I know you're gonna have a very successful semester and I wish you the best of luck.